Okay, we are back in the Mall of Arabia. Um, oh no, you weren't with me in the Mall of Arabia. Last time you were in the Red Sea. The Mall of Arabia is the biggest mall I think in the country. They've just opened a Virgin Megastore and I know last time I was in the Red Sea Virgin Megastore they had things with the city name on so I just want a few souvenirs for my family for when I go home. I'll be buying them like presents but I just want some little things you know it's nice uh, but they've just opened this. Literally opened it literally opened about a week and a half ago so every time I go past the store the music's really loud and I'm gonna get copyrighted but um, I've been to Virgin Megastore I just went in because they sell souvenirs you can I think get them at the airport but I haven't been in the new airport yet so I'm not sure what's there and I want to pack them into my suitcase rather than carry them so it makes more sense to get them early if possible I'm just gonna go around this way uh, so I just wanted to see they're just little like magnets little bags you know I don't really have it's got to be said even though I've been here for like a year and a half I don't really have a sense of the city and what it's like it's weirdly isolating um not because I'm a foreigner in a strange land but because first you have the you know you've got the Rona but also things are so extreme here in the sense of it's always super hot outside it's always it's always a case of when you go out you drive to that place and that place is usually a mall a restaurant a thing so in terms of like exploring the old town I haven't done that yet because I was waiting for the weather to get cooler in the first year we were so overwhelmed with everything it just didn't happen and then the second year we had the Rona so I, I don't have a sense of the personality of this city and it's really kind of stopped me connecting with the country I suppose because I just don't explore it as much as I have some others and uh, I'm now looking to see if I want to stay here or if I want to if I want to go, move on and one of the things that's making me think move on just having a bit more freedom to wander around in new places Okay, I'm sitting in the food court. I think I timed this really well. So it's going to get so busy after the uh, after the prayers go. There's a prayer time at I want to say about five something. Um, I'm not sure exactly when, but I got here reasonably early. I got here about four something like that. And uh, I'm just sitting down now. I'm gonna eat. So I've ordered uh, tikka masala. It came with a nam, which I didn't really want, but I don't have to eat it just because it's there, so we'll leave that. Uh, I've just gone in, I went to Virgin, but I also went to this store. So this is center point. It always reminds me of Target. I really like them because they are reasonably priced. The thing with a lot of the places that I tend to go and a lot of the big, big malls, like I said, this is an enormous mall. They have a lot of brand names, but in terms of cheap and cheerful, you're kind of stuck. And actually the dress I wear, you've seen this before in my reacts, it's not a top, it's a dress. And I got that from Centerpoint as well. Um, and I like that I'm going home, but I don't need a ton of winter clothes. I'm not looking for long term here because I'm not going to use them when I come back. But I just need a few clothes to kind of get through because dad said he's put, uh, he's put away a lot of my stuff and God knows where it is. So I need just like a couple of jumpers, some cardigans. I picked up a few things and um, hopefully that will just get me through a few weeks. With it being locked down, I'm not going to be going out very much. I'll do my quarantine and I'll probably do one shopping trip when I go to the UK. But other than that, it, I'm not really going to be out and about. So I don't need a lot in the way of clothes. I can just like be around the house. I just need to be reasonably warm because especially after here, it's going to feel so difficult. <laughs> Um, to be home in like normal weather so I'm glad I did that I got a couple of jumpers um, what else did I get I can't think I'll have a look when I get home but really pleased it didn't cost me that much all things all things considered and uh, should, should just just do me right I said I wasn't gonna eat the naan I've just watched him make it fresh I'm like oh okay then maybe I will but this is what it looks like got a plain naan because it came with the meal and then just a curry there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all this but he's given me a bag and some things so I can probably take the rest home I've just taken my mask off to eat but I'm socially distanced I'm a little bit relieved um they did say do you want the curry in a red sauce or a yellow and I was like red They're like oh spicy and I was like yeah I haven't had curry here before because I haven't eaten it for a long time and like it's spicy but it's not blowing my head off so I got lucky there because sometimes you can't tell what the barometer of spicy is going to be in a country 
and occasionally, in Indonesia particularly, I used to just get my head blown off by raw chili and just be like, oh, okay then. Okay, I think I'm done here. I've eaten about a third of the naan and I've eaten a quarter, a third of the chicken. It's, uh, the spice is building as I eat it. Um, you know, when you eat it for a while and it's getting hotter and hotter and because I can't drink when I eat, it's a little uncomfortable. But I'm good, I'm not hungry anymore. I hadn't, I know I did eat today. I had a hard boiled egg earlier, but that was all I'd had. So I was like, I need to eat something. I was feeling a bit sick in the car. So I'm gonna put my mask back on. I'm gonna pack this up. I'll take it home with me. I wasn't planning on doing a lot of shopping right now because I mostly did what I needed to do. So I'm probably gonna call the cab and uh, just, just head home. I might just have a quick look around, but I don't like once I've bought food, I don't like carrying it around with me. So I'm just waiting for my driver now. Last time I was here, they had taken away all the seats because they didn't want people to sit in groups. So fortunately now, things aren't quite as serious. They put all the seats back. So I'm just gonna see if I can find a spot and wait for him because this mall, when I say it's enormous, there's like, gotta be 15 gates. Like you have to, <laughs> you have to wait by the right one otherwise you're gonna be in for a long walk. It's looking super gray outside. And I'm not entirely sure why. It could be uh, just the time of day, because it's, it's five something now, but usually it doesn't get that grey. The driver said we might get some rain, and I'm wary of this because they promised me rain last week and then none materialised when they said it was going to be a massive storm. So, but I'm tentatively hopeful for a little bit of rain. That would be really nice. There's a Sephora right by the exit, and it's just been staring me down while I've been waiting, but I think he's going to be a few minutes, so heading into Sephora. <laughs> okay, I made it home. Um, I know I didn't show you very much in the mall, I'm gonna have to look through my footage and see if this is worth uploading at all, but um, I get a bit iffy, like I try to show you what I can, but at the same time I want to be respectful of everyone around me, and it's kind of hard because you don't know, there's a very strong feeling about some people that they really don't want to be on camera or on any kind of social media, it, it's against their belief, so it's just, I feel a bit iffy, most people are fine with it, but just in case, you know. Uh, so I didn't spend very long in the mall. I was only there probably, I mean, it's just, it's about quarter past six now. So a couple of hours, if that, I wanted to get out before the prayer time started because once you get through the prayer times, one, you get stuck waiting, but two, uh, it gets much busier. And especially with Arab mall, uh, it gets insane there. So I was like, I'll, I'll want out before that. I tend to go the mall like once a month, I'll go. Uh, right after payday to get whatever I need, but um, in this case, I just wanted a few things. I'm sorry, I just realised that I told you I bought stuff and I didn't show you what I bought, so this might be a bit of a harsh edit somewhere. <laughs> but this is what I got, I've just got around here. Oh. Use the mess, these are the bags that I've just taken everything out of. Um, I've got magnets and some postcards, another postcard there, just some uh, embroidered bags I think might might make little... For my little sister, maybe a little coin purse and then maybe a makeup bag for the others. For myself, I just got a planner. I know, I know, the girls always do the planners, but I actually need one for this year. And it's going to be a good uh, organiser slash um, workbook. So that will be nice work, uh, work diary. I'll get there eventually, guys. And um, once I'd done that, these are the clothes I got. Again, I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I didn't end up spending a lot of money, which was nice because I went to splash, uh, did Splash Fashion, which is the Target own brand. It's the equivalent of buying clothes at like Target or Primark, but I just wanted things that I could wear over mainly what I already have. So I did get a new t-shirt, it just says, don't panic, we are organic. <laughs> and then these, it just made me laugh. I got a blue uh, cardigan. I got a couple of sweaters. They're quite thin, uh, but not thin. <laughs> it would be pointless if they were thin because the point is to be warm. They're thicker, they're thicker than the clothes I have here, but uh, my dad keeps his house very warm. Um, something to do with how the uh, boiler is set up, where basically the heating's always on. I, I don't understand it myself, but in order to have hot water, his heater's on, something is messed up with it. But his house is always warm. So I want things that are warm enough that I can layer them up and go outside in, but cool enough that I can wear them in the house and not die. So it's it's an odd balance and I don't want anything too thick and insane because where am I going really, you know? Uh, just enough to withstand British weather versus Arabian weather. I also got this sweater. I wish that I'd been a no, it would have been perfect. 
and this kind of check dress thing in a slightly thicker material than I usually get they can go over leggings they can all go over leggings to be completely honest I'm only going to be around the house but yeah I was quite happy because it was Black Friday recently, or they call it White Friday here, I'm not sure if there's a cultural significance to that or if that's just the way it be. But um, because of Black White Friday, they still had a few things in the sale, so it's already cheap and I got a little bit of money off, so that was nice. You guys, I turned around to film this portion of me just saying, oh yeah, and I stepped backwards and on the floor behind me was, you know when you take a security tag out and then you have the pin? Upside down, on the floor, apparently when he took it out of the, one of the sweaters, he must have um, left the other half in and I've just shoved my heel, my bare heel straight onto it. To the extent I was like, what is, I lifted it up, it was the thickest part of my heel, so it wasn't as painful as it could have been if it had been like somewhere it just gone straight through because my thickest part of my heel is pretty thick. But uh, it hurt and I lifted it up and it was in deep enough that I had to pull it out and that did hurt. Like it was jammed in there and then I was just bleeding all over the uh, all over the floor and I was like oh no things have occurred so I've just had to go and fix that unfortunately um but I've, I've survived so there we go it's a dangerous business um so yeah I'm gonna finish this section before I hurt myself anymore uh I haven't been around much this week you guys um work has been kicking my ass because the uh, balance to the fact that they gave us an extra two weeks, even though we're working from home, they gave us an extra two weeks, was that all of the deadlines that were usually due in a couple of weeks' time were now due now. <laughs> so <laughs> I did a ton of work this week. And uh, I didn't react to Chantelle's too latest. I don't know when I'm putting this up, actually. It might not be a too latest at that point. But she did a drive through the lights and she did a drive through with nature with those carrots that she wanted to get rid of. Um, I think it was really great to see her doing uh, content that wasn't food based. I think that was really nice. But at the same time, it just so happened. Oh, I suppose she did actually eat at the end of the lights one. But yeah, it wasn't the main point of the vlog. Um, but the thing is, with the kind of content it happened to be, beyond going like, oh, nice or oh, cute, there wasn't a lot to say. And so I just didn't bother reacting and I really didn't have time. So... Uh, that's all I've done this week. I'm going to put my stuff away, see what else I need. I'm flying home uh, in a week's time, so that's quite exciting. And I'll try and do some stuff from home. I'm not sure if I'll have time. I'm not sure if I'll have the space to do it because everyone will be there. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to carve out some time. I'll still be able to do some reacts, do some Christmassy stuff at home and maybe film it. Haven't decided yet, but hopefully I'll see you there. Bye-bye.